Hi friends, if you are a doctor who finished your UG course and trying for NEET PG exam which to be held on Jan 5, 2020, then it's your video guys. Here comes a revision session and this video mainly compiles of forensic medicine and toxicology. So first question would be the brick red color of postmortem lividity is seen in poisoning due to the options are carbon monoxide, hydrogen, sulfide, phosphorus and cyanide. So the answer would be cyanide. Also in carbon monoxide it will be cherry pink in color, hydrogen sulfide it will be greenish blue and phosphorus it will be brown. Second question, minimum age for giving consent for organ donation in India is 16, 18, 21 or no age limit. It will be 18 years. In both MTP Act 1971 and Transplantation of Human Organs Act 1994, it's been clearly said that the age limit will be 18 years for termination of pregnancy and to donate their blood or organs. So any individual below 18 years in India should need a concern from their parents or guardian for organ donation. Next one. Choking is the characteristic of the following weapon. Options would be revolver, pistol, shotgun and rifle. Answer is shotgun. Because choking mostly lessens the rate of spread of the shot after it leaves the muscle. Thus it increases the explosive force and increases the velocity. So shotgun is the answer and it has variable choke adapters such as full choke, half choke, quarter choke and improved cylinder. Next, which of the following is mean by the term sin of Gomorrah? Oral sex, anal sex, bestiality or lesbianism? Answer would be oral sex. Because according to Bible, the sin was common in a town called Gomorrah. So the name. It was noted in the Unnatural Sex Offenses Act, Section 37 IPC. Next one. Disputed maternity can be solved by using the following test except blood grouping, HLA typing, precipitin test or DNA fingerprint. Answer would be precipitin test because precipitin test is an antigen antibody reaction test. It's mainly used to distinguish between the species. Next question. Postmortem staining gets fixed after. Options are 2 to 3 hours, 3 to 4 hours, 5 to 6 hours or 7 to 8 hours. So the answer would be 7 to 8 hours. So, next question. True about cadaveric spasm. Options are develops immediately after death, may develop hours after death, develop only in fascia muscles, or all above. So, answer would be cadaveric spasm develops immediately after death. So, next question. Adipocid formation is seen in options are Dead body exposed to air, dead body buried in damp clay soil, burial in dry, hot air or all the above. So the answer would be dead body buried in damp clay soil. Because the ideal condition for the formation of adipocere formation are warm that is a hot temperature, moisture and diminution of air which would be seen most likely in a water or damp soil. So the answer would be dead body buried in damp clay soil. Next, heat rupture is characterized by options are regular margins, irregular margins, ruptured blood vessels or ruptured red blood cells and clotted bloods. So the answer would be irregular margins. So next, emphysema occurs and is seen in option wet drowning, dry drowning, immersion syndrome or secondary drowning. So the answer would be wet drowning because if dead body is thrown into water then due to hydrostatic pressure the water passes into the lung causing hydrostatic lung. So the alveolar wall eruption occurs and the water enters into the tissues and blood vessels. It's called emphysema aquosa. In discussing with the other options, dry lung is seen in dry drowning because in which the death occurs due to the causation of laryngeal spasm. Next question, in case of death in lockup, the investigation is held by options are a police officer, magistrate, panchayat officer, district attorney. 
so the answer would be magistrate as the death occurs in the police station higher to their authority it's been investigated by magistrate so next question which of the following tests is used to detect semen option paraffin test phenethylene test rains test barberio's test so the answer would be barberio's test barberio's test been conducted by adding a few drops of barberio's reagent to the seminal stain so the positive test result shows the formation of yellow needle shaped crystals of spermine pectrade next option phenethylene test also known as castle mayer test it's mainly for finding a hemoglobin in blood stains next paraffin test it's also called dermal nitrate test it's used to detect gunpowder on skin to discuss with the next choice rennes test it has no role in the forensic medicine so next question true about strychnine poisoning is options are all muscles affected at the same time shoulder girdle affected first pelvic girdle affected first or none of the above so the answer is all muscles affected at the same time in nakswamika poisoning that is strychnine next transverse tissues options wearing clothes of opposite sex touching one's own private parts to other desire for sexual intercourse with dead bodies orgasm from visualization part of the body of a woman so the answer is wearing clothes of opposite sex is called transverse tissue in discussing with the next option the desire for sexual intercourse with dead bodies is also called as necrophilia next question paraphilias or all except option bisexuality homosexuality bestiality fratricide so the answer bisexuality which means having both ovary and testes internally and external genitals of both sexes and also known as hermaphrodite but the question paraphilia defines as having an abnormal and unorthodox sex play by using unusual objects or parts of body so next question arsenic poisoning presents with symptoms mimicking options cholera datura poisoning barbiturate poisoning or morphine poisoning so the answer is cholera because we can discuss now by defining both arsenic and cholera with few symptoms first symptom pain in throat according to arsenic poisoning the pain in throat occurs mainly before vomiting but in cholera pain in throat comes after vomiting next symptom purging purging occurs only after vomiting in arsenic poisoning but in cholera before vomiting purging occurs next symptom stool the characteristic feature of stool in arsenic poisoning would be dark colored blood stool initially and later it becomes rice watery stool but in cholera there won't be any blood in stool but the stool will be rice watery next symptom tenesmus and anal irritation it will be present only in arsenic poisoning whereas absent in cholera next symptom vomiting so the vomitic content in arsenic poisoning will be seen with mucus bile and blood but in cholera only watery vomiting will be seen next symptom conjunctiva 
only in arsenic poisoning the conjunctiva gets inflamed in cholera there will be no inflammation next question a sneeze snakes options neurotoxic hemotoxic musculotoxic or all of the above the answer is musculotoxic that is the sea snake toxic affects mainly the muscular system next meaning of term vitreligious option using vitriol for suicide for murder vitriol throwing or perforation of stomach caused by sulfuric acid answer is vitriol throwing the vitriolage or vitriol throwing means throwing of any corrosive especially sulfuric acid on another person the eye will be the most affected organ due to this vitriol throwing next best method of treatment of methyl alcohol poisoning is option calcium gluconate ethyl alcohol amphetamines or one percentage ammonia so the answer is ethyl alcohol so next question charas is the leaves of cannabis indica or flower of it or stem of cannabis indica or resin exudate of cannabis indica so the answer is resin exudate of cannabis indica is called charas